This is forget-me-not. It's the end of the season for it. As you can see, these plants are getting really spent at this point. But what's great about them is you wait until they get towards the end of their stem and they've already cast off some flowers because at this point it's very easy to remove. Get under there, put your thumb like that, and you just kind of wiggle them off and they come off perfectly. And then you just press them flat. Some seeds there. They're easy to press, they, their color lasts a long time, and they work really well in dainty arrangements. And usually off a cluster like this, I'll see that one broke. That one came off good. That one broke, so of course I'd get rid of it. That one came off. And then when I get to the end, strip off the stem and then I press this in profile so if you have small arrangements or you want little accents and good good color that lasts for a while forget-me-nots are a really good option you can also press the forget-me-not leaves Something else that presses, um, sort of, is a single petal fuchsia. And what I mean by single petal is that it's got a single petal. This is a high, hardy, this is a hardy fuchsia. Now, the problem with the ones that are really wide open is I find that a lot of times they'll brown up in here. So you can try a microwave. If you can get them through the drying process without turning brown, then they'll last for quite a while. On the other hand, however, I do find that these ones that aren't open that far yet hold their color and make it through the process really well and the leaves dry wonderfully and hold their color really well. So I will, uh, I will use both the leaves individually for foliage as well as uh, press things in an array such as this. I would press that whole, I would press this whole thing. So just remember if you do fuchsias, if you have single fuchsias they're the best and um, they're a little bit finicky once they get bigger than this to make it through the drying process without getting a little bit of brown in some of the areas. But they're definitely worth a try and they're beautiful.